Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So good news, I'm getting a new phone, so maybe I'll have better sound quality. We'll see, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. This evening's video is going to be on one of my favorite episodes of Race to the Edge, and that is Buffalo Lord Soldier. So, if you remember a while ago, it might have been last time, I think it might have been a few weeks before that, I did a thing where I did mostly of the books, but I did books and movies together so I and I did some ones where TV show episodes that were that could possibly be based off of books now I almost forgot what it was called Buffalo Soldier is one of those Buffalo Soldier could possibly be based off of a book it is could possibly be based off of the fourth book in the series, How to Train Dragon's Curse, which is one of my favorite books. It's not my favorite, but it is one of my favorite. Um, I haven't actually ranked the books in a while, I don't think. If I have, I'll have to, I don't know. If I haven't, I'll do that video, otherwise I won't, because I've not done that. So, needless to say, there are a few differences in the book and the movie. So, we're going to talk about those today. So, both Books, both the book and the movie, not book and movie, book and TV show, deal with, well, deal with one person getting it by isolation somehow. Well, by isolation, I'm going to specify. So, in the book, it is, well, it is the, how Fish Legs actually gets Warp and Titus, which I will explain later on in the video, is believed to his belief to God from the third book when they were trapped in the tower of the Roman outpost and a they put a venomous warpint is that what it's called venomous warpint in there with or twill in there with them and landed on fish legs and most likely bit him. Whereas with Astrid it is when she is exploring I think maybe she was just her 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 turn to explore or something. Look out for dagger and she discovered the ship or Riker, or who she's looking for, and she discovered the ship with the Scourge of Odin and ended up getting it in her blood. So basically, what I've noticed is both of these pieces work the same way, that you both have to get it into your bloodstream, but it's a little different. With Warpint Titus, you have to just be bit by a venomous Warpint. I don't think you can give it to anyone else. I don't think it's contagious. Then again, if most of these that you have, the, you have to enter the bloodstream aren't usually contagious. And with Scourge of Ruin, I'm not really sure how it's caused, but it's spread through the blood, definitely. Now, of course, both of these diseases are diseases that are... Well, they are extinct. Well, they're not really extinct. Um, Scourge of Ruin is, but... Um, Vorpentitis is not extinct, it's just rare. It's just rare. Scourge Horton is extinct as we know of. And Venomous and Vorpatitis is, well, it's rare to get because it's caused by a bite from a very rare dragon. So those are similarities there, but there are also other similarities in that the cure for these diseases are also very hard to get. In How to Treat Dragon's Curse, the Cure for verpentitis is to get a potato, or as they call it, a potato that shall not be named, from America or the land that does not exist. Now, of course, because in this day they believe the world is flat, clearly the land that does not exist does not exist, so it's hard to get a the vegetable that shall not be named because it's from the land that doesn't exist. However, one, and again, in the books, the only cure for Scourge of Odin is the green saliva from the Buffalo Lord Soldier. Now, of course, um, when Hiccup finds out that Astrid and Fishlegs in the book and the movie have these diseases, he will stop at nothing to make sure they get well because, as we know, Astrid is someone Hiccup definitely cares about, uh, maybe a little bit more than a friend, as we've seen throughout the entire series, and Fishlegs is Hiccup's best friend, so he's going to stop at nothing for that. Hiccup will risk everything, including almost getting killed 
by Norbert Netscher, Buffalo, and Riker himself to get the cure. Now, of course, now, of course, there are a few things we don't expect in this. First of all, Norbert Netscher, who has the potato, but doesn't want to give it up because it's a shrine of his dead father, and there is a plot twist at the end of the book, but I'm not going to reveal that right now. If you want to know what that plot twist is, please read the book. I highly recommend it. And of course, the endings are also completely different because turns out all fish legs had was a cold. So Hiccup went to nothing to save fish legs. With all that, for nothing. Or did he? We'll see if you read the book. Now, of course, in Buffalo Lord Soldier, Hiccup actually does almost give up because there is no cure for Buffalo Lord Soldier with for for Scourge of Warden without the green solution from the Buffalo Lord. And there's only one known in existence. So you either die, which most people that get the disease even though it is extinct, die. So Hiccup pretty much gives up on, almost gives up on Asher, then he realizes what the green solution is. And of course, in this episode, Hiccup does admit that he technically, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't say he has feelings for Asher, but he does say that, I mean, he can imagine Mothar, but then again, I mean, I'm sure Asher would have said that to Fish Lakes, he would have said that to Fish Lakes, I would say that to my friends. I'd say that to my sister, I mean, I'd say that to anyone that I significantly cared about that wasn't, like, a love interest, but, like, I would say that to anyone, like, one of my friends, because I I don't want to live in the world without them. And, but then, of course, um, all of us from season one, we can clearly tell this was season one episode, the first movie we can clearly tell this was more than, going to be more than a friendship from the start, so we kind of know what that scene. He pretty much is saying that he loves her in her own way, but, of course... And Asher does return the favor, it takes her a while, partially because, I mean, the reason she couldn't say it was because, I mean, she was pretty much dying. So, oh no, and this is kind of like a comparison of being with you, I would normally do it, but I have a project on my leopard going on and I don't want to erase it. So, this is a comparison of opinion, not really, it's in my own way. Okay, so, that's going to be for this video, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell and soon for tomorrow's video, which is on Hiccup as a leader. Alright, see you.